right, so <laughs> first hiccup of the trip. Less than 24 hours in the trip and we have a hiccup. I was headed to uh, Branson, Missouri. Um, I was gonna go up into Alton, Illinois. Um, looks like that's out. I can't get to Alton right now because uh, I'm not gonna be able to make it there to, to see what I wanted to see. Because I got a flat tire. I called for roadside assistance, wait about an hour where they didn't come, so I went ahead and changed that myself. But uh, maybe we can get a little instant karma here because I think I saw someone that needed help. All right, looks like this turtle got stuck in the middle of the road. But uh, our issue here is that that is a freaking giant snapping turtle. And I don't want him to bite me, but I don't want him to get run over. So we gotta figure something out. All right, gonna look at the car path. Hopefully they see him. Uh! Feisty. I don't know how long his neck is. The car just went right over top of him. Oh my god. I'm afraid if I pick him up, he'll bite me. Come on. Look. Ooh. Move. Move. Oh my god, I went over top of him again. I can't stand this. Oh god. Gotta get across the road, buddy. Gotta hurry up. Gotta hurry up. You're gonna get runned over. No, you don't want to get run over. How long's your neck? I don't know if I can pick you up or not. You got claws? Ah! All right, listen here, buddy. You need to get out of the road, one way or the other. Come on. You want it? Come get it. Come get it. Come on. Come and get it. You don't like that? You mad? You mad, bro? Well, come get it. You're probably like a freaking 200 years old. Come on. Oh! We need to go get something. All right, you take care. Stay out of the road. All right, so a little bit of frustration here. Um, I called Walmart last night. They said that the tire place opens at 10. I got here, it opens at eight. So I wasted two hours sitting around waiting for this place to open up. And now there's, and I wanted to be the first one here. Now there's three cars in front of me and the cars could take up to an hour a piece so uh, time just keeps slipping through my fingers I need to be making videos not waiting in Walmart but it's all good because the these stumbling blocks they are all part of the the adventure of the open road so we'll be patient and, and enjoy the ambiance of Walmart for the next half a day all right maybe I could do some shopping for my Dragon Con costume it could be the flash or Spongebob Dinosaur. Is that Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life? Now this, this looks like the Chewbacca that called me fat. They have shoes with speakers in them. That's, that's really dumb, right? I mean, I'm not alone. I mean, that's, that's completely weird and pointless, right? All right, and we are back in business. They're actually able to, uh, patch it instead of replace it so that saved me some cash let's get back on the road hey Lewis hey Clark hey Sacagawea I'm back coming to you live from Quilt City USA Paducah Kentucky now about four years ago uh, when I very first started making videos, I came out here to Paducah and, and I made a little joke. I, I, I did an intro in front of the Quilt Museum and then 
I implied that it may be boring and I didn't go in. I uh, was just making a haha. -ha. The uh, Quilt Museum actually commented, their official YouTube account commented that uh, I should have come into the museum and they, they told me it was an interesting museum and that uh, that uh, if I didn't enjoy it, they would they would refund my money. They're right. You know, I, I, I shouldn't be mocking museums and shouldn't be judging uh, attractions that I haven't been inside. So today, I'm gonna make my penance and I'm gonna go inside the National Quilt Museum. Follow me. Actually, this is like the most nervous I've ever been going into attraction. I'm worried that they're gonna remember me and that they're gonna give me a hard time. Oh man, they got me again. So I, uh, I pay my $12, I go to see the quilts, and uh, you know I have my big camera with me because I was going to film. I didn't know I wasn't supposed to, and then I get accosted by one of the quilt ladies, and she accuses me of filming, accuses me of taking pictures, and asks to see my camera. She asked to see my camera. Quilt people, I swear they have it out for me. So, I pay my $12 to go into the National Quilt Museum and uh, you know, go in to see the, uh, the, the pretty blankets. And uh, I'm here carrying my camera because I, I didn't know that I couldn't film when I first walked into the building. Um, and then uh, one of the quilt ladies, one of the quilt police, comes up and accuses me of taking pictures and video. And I tell her I'm not, I, you know, I'm following the rules and she, she has to see my camera. She wants to inspect my camera to make sure I didn't take, take any pictures or video. And uh, these people are very serious. These quilt, these quilt police do not want their, 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 uh, their quilts filmed, photoed. It's, it's, it's a very, very serious, uh, very serious affair. So, um, I guess I will, uh, I will head out somewhere, um, where I am welcome. You know, neither one of those words are really supposed to be spelled with a K. I would really like to try my hand at, uh, submission fighting yoga. Alright, so new addition, the singers sewing crops. Is this a bumper crop color, yeah. What's that? The bumper crop color, yeah. Bumper crop. Nice. All right, and the redneck tree has officially been painted red. Oh. And then and then you may notice the uh, the, the time machine's shrinking up. You shrunk the time machine? Well yeah, it keeps keeps rocking away, so like keeps yeah. keeping shrunk up. Oh you got some nice suitcases yeah. there. Well, you're gonna go back in time, you know, all the things you like it with. <laughs> this tree here sucks. Anyone? Yeah. So that tree, uh, for, for, for you, that tree is really wacky. Wacky. Yeah. There's so, so, Man so, between the legs, like beast. beast. And uh, it's like their version of Bigfoot now. So yes, okay. we have the LBL beast, and you might want to go find one in LBL. As you see, I did go hunting for one, and I caught one. All right, dude. But I forgot to feed it, so you might notice it went mummified on me. The LVL beast. But I still think that's pretty rare because as you've noticed when you travel, all your beasts you've seen, you know, even in the moth and all that are, are gigantic. This is a baby one, so I think mine's more rare. I've seen her, but that's, <laughs> that's, uh, that's a hillbilly brown bear. Hey there. Lay bear. You got dogs? She's, here? She's, trans, dog she's transfixed on something. <laughs> you recognize this guy? Throne hand. Yeah, throne hand. And then, yes, after a night of good tacos, it can be a ring of fire. <laughs> I got some growing out of there. It's amazing you think about all the things that these toilets have seen over the years. If you do okay. pass the devil test, you now can come over here and go down to the hot party. The hot party? Can I can I open that? Uh, well, you can, but there's nothing down there. <laughs> but, but I do get an air conditioner yet. You can take that with you and you can let me know if hell freezes over while you're down there.
I will. Or you might get a ticket to the quilt museum. Ticket to the quilt yeah. museum. You, you can't. You can't. You can't film at the quilt museum. I learned something new. I did not know that. You need oh, to start. Oh, you need to start your own quilt museum over here. I, we filmed there. Before. No, we filmed there before. We didn't get yelled at. <laughs> Is this Elvis dead on the toilet? No, what, what, it's not, it's not, I'm, not, I'm not that bad, dude. It's Elvis has left the building. Elvis has left the field. And anyway, I guess no. Elvis dead on the toilet doesn't sound as funny. <laughs> I was shocked. Shocked? Oh. Okay, I was shocked. That, yeah, that's a car shock. That's right. You have your car shocked on. No, no, no. I was shocked to how come out here and saw my chainsaw in the tree. I, I know it's bad, but <laughs> <laughs> that's so bad I gotta do it again. Shocked, saw, chainsaw. Oh, chain. <laughs> chain. Oh, you're just now no singer? Oh, it's a chain, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the Kentucky Chainsaw. The Kentucky Chainsaw. And I bet they did not have one of those at the Quilt Museum. Uh, uh, we have to keep buying counterers from them. And as you might guess, we buy a can opener. Yes, we're able to open 10 cans with it. Then we'll have to go buy another can opener to open another 10 cans. You know, another can. Them. We're working on our chairway to heaven. Chairway to heaven. Anybody chairway knows? to heaven. In the old days, drivers were tumble. And then, of course, uh, in the... Uh, 80s there was that, that there's that song called I will tumble for you yeah so it is my boy, boy George tribute boy George I will tribute. tumble for you in the old days uh, this is the original throughway calling yeah and then in the old days we used to carry these in our back pocket and when we traveled it got to be a pain in the arse because we we had to keep stopping the store to buy more cord because obviously the longer uh, further away from us you got the longer your cord had to be so you can't go anywhere back then without tripping over someone else's cord. That's how tight America really was back then. And then I know you told the young generation, like your daughter, how easy she has it. Because it took us forever to text on one of these things. It took us so long to text, we ended up talking on our phones. <laughs> then it leads us into this thing. As, as you can see, uh, we got the scoop. We got the scoop. We got the dirt. We got the trash on you. If not, we will dig up something about you. So as you can see, the early tabloid news system, you get the scoop. Then you try to sell it to three organizations at the same time. You can't be, obviously, you can't beat a dead horse, but you can sure split one. So that is a that is a beat. That's supposed to be a beat, yeah. You have beat, beat a dead horse. But you sure split one. You know, you so. can't beat it, but you can split it at least. This is the first toad of the summer? Yep, I found. <laughs> that hatch on top, and that's for the dark side of the moon. And then I... I don't know what there's going on. <laughs> but, but I was going to say, you might notice they do have a, now they do have a new sophisticated push button intercom system. Push button intercom ah. system. Oh, there you are. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, if you saw, like, I got it warned on. They'll be scaring me here. <laughs> so, so you ready? Yep, go ahead. Yeehaw! Watch that. I got this new bumper right here. Right here. It stops you. As you say, it works pretty good. It's a tree. <laughs> You don't bite, you're not one of those biting don't ducks. Don't the other ones definitely bite you. The other one's mean? Yeah. <laughs> and then, Warren Duck. <laughs> well, Brookie, look who's here. I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's the one who was saying, how come he has never been here before? <laughs> this is my third time. <laughs> Boy, you stand in front of the dough. And you do have to clean them out every day, so I haven't cleaned them yet, so <laughs> don't touch don't, this. That's my <laughs> Hey there. Hey, buddy. So, 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 it's our hibbly cats. I don't Hibbley like the cats. other one. I like the black one better. He's more buddy. friendly. What are their names? Well, we're really... the only possum one, possum two. Those are the name I'm, not, of, I'm not sure where they got that name from. Those either. are the name of my drones. Yeah. <laughs> that tail looks so beady. Oh, you can... Hey, you notice it sounds like a dog sniffing. Yeah, you can hear him sniff. Check it out. So they moved in with us. <laughs> us. Oh wow. Wow. That was one you big sniffing, You sniffing the Buford stick right yeah. there? Yeah, and th this may be Sheriff Buford or may not be. I'm not sure. You're not sure? So, yeah. Because I don't do any BS around here. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. It's okay. 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 There we go. What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> you, need to, you need to turn all the way around if you want to get his head. Okay, yeah, his head's in view now. Oh, I guess I need to step on the shot. I look, I look like a wife beater over here. Okay, there you go. All right. You don't trust that. Oh, oh, are you eating my hat? No, I, 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 
don't trust this. He, he likes high caliber straw, so so the better the straw, the better it tastes. I feel, as, I feel as like he's like sniffing the back of my neck. I can. Yeah, he is doing that. Oh yeah, he's gonna take your hat he's off. He's gonna take he's, my hat. He's gonna your hat off. Do you wear my hat? There you go. Go to sleep. Oh yeah, there he comes around. There you go. Oh. Ah. <laughs> He doesn't like the hat. He does not want me to wear that hat for some reason. It's a mummified chicken. Yeah, I call it a Kroger's mummified chicken. It looks like what you buy at Kroger's, huh? <laughs> All right, so you actually live inside a genuine Pokemon gym. That yeah, so it's, is it's totally impressive. <laughs> because the first time I said it to you on a live page, we're a gym, you kind of made a comment like I'm making some, some, some child... What a 24 hours it's been. Uh, always an absolute pleasure to stop by uh, Apple Valley, Toyland, and Hillbilly Gardens uh, to visit with my friend Keith Holt and his wonderful family and his new possums. Um, and of course, I appreciate everyone out, you, out there watching. Uh, if you want to see other places I've been, check down in the description. Uh, it'll be an interactive map that'll show you all the places I've been. You can make suggestions on where you feel I need to go. Uh, if you want to donate on Patreon, at least $3 a month donation will get you postcards uh, from my journeys. Also, I sell t-shirts, and uh, we're going to put some miles behind us. Like I think i got another five hours I'm going to drive this evening. That sounds insane when I say it out loud. Uh, but for now, this one's in the bag.